Outside for that school bus day forecast, watch out for kids who may be standing along the roadsides along those areas when it's really thick with the fog. You can miss some of those kids sometimes. So just in case, you know, with this fog being so intense like it is, let's watch out for anyone who may be standing out by the roadside. And then as you're heading home today, temperatures will be in the 50s. A little bit of a shower chance in place here for us as you head home. And then we will also be tracking slightly cooler weather because we're going to see what we call falling temperatures. So we're actually staying mild now, but once the rain starts, you'll get a bit of a breeze in place there and it will feel a little bit chilly at times for us. Those rain chances, like I said, will be high for today. We're going to take it up to a 50% chance for your Friday and then back down to a 0% chance for your Saturday. Saturday is the day we're in between systems. So when the next system moves in by Sunday, that chance is at 60%. So looking at our bigger view, I want to show you our regional map to show you how these storms are coming in from the west. So for this morning, we're getting the first batch of moisture out of here. By this afternoon, we'll take in the second batch. That one will be with us after lunchtime and will continue off and on through the day today into very, very early Saturday morning. But I'm not expecting there to be rain chances during the day Saturday. And then we'll get that break Saturday and then our next round will start to build in for your day Sunday. That Sunday rain chance will move in and out and it'll be done just in time for you to head back to school and work once you get into your Monday. 57 degrees for your Saturday as we look ahead at that weekend forecast. Saturday night at 45 and 55 for you on Sunday. A little bit cooler as that next chance of rain moves.